uh, while you are preparing for UPSC, um, it's not difficult to cover the syllabus. The most important thing lies in the fact that what is that punch that is going to bring you more marks. Hello everyone, welcome to Plutus IES talk show all about psychology optional. Hi, this is Yukti Gupta. So today I'm here with a renowned faculty of Plutus IES, Shalini Ma'am. Shalini Ma'am has written three times mains in 1920 and 2021. And Ma'am has total teaching experiences six years. Hello Ma'am, welcome to the talk show. Thank you Yukti for having me over here. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, my first question is, ki, like, what is psychology optional? Okay, so um, as you know that uh, the subject itself, psychology, is speaking a lot about itself. And um, it is more about power of imagination. <clears throat> now, what is this power of imagination? If you see the same book that you people are reading, but the level of imagination varies from a lot of factors like in the kind of culture, the kind of life you have been living in. So it is more of how you imagine and how you look at things from your perspective. So that is more about a human psyche. So I would say that psychology is more about your power of imagination, your psyche in way you are born and brought up. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, my second question is ki how do I plan my study time for psychology optional? Okay, so if you see, uh, while you are preparing for UPSC, um, it's not difficult to cover the syllabus. The most important thing lies in the fact that what is that punch that is going to bring you more marks. So instead of telling you about how to prepare for it, I will rather say that how you are going to score marks in it. So for that, you need to have a lot of research a lot of case studies, a lot of experiments. And for that, you have to have that quality of exploring the subject. So I would say that firstly, you cover your uh, paper one. Uh, again, all those uh, topics which are overlapping, you can go for those topics uh, individually. And then you can go towards research, case studies, experiments, etc. Okay, ma'am. My third question is, ma'am, what book should I use for studying psychology okay so since you asked me for the books so let me tell you uh, i would start from the base ncrt is very important now ncrt is 11 12 becomes very important uh, for a reason reason why because indian psychology varies from western psychology why because the culture in which we are living they are very different as compared to the western psychologists now, to know the Indian psychology well, you need to cover the NCRT 11th and 12th very strictly and precisely. Now, you can say that uh, what is so important about NCRT of 11th and 12th? So, I would say that uh, it covers a very broader aspects of Indian psychology. That means how are Indians actually thinking and talking about for example, uh, you know, I was just going through one of the interviews of Elon Musk and he said that, um, what is this motivation? I don't understand what is motivation. Um, and that is a very broad concept. Why? Because he says, if I know that I have to do something, I will ultimately do it. What is this motivation that you require? And in India, you see, there's million views in the motivational channels. Yes, ma'am. So for that, you need to cover NCRT 11, 12th. Then you have higher books that is uh, you have James Coleman book then you have Baron and uh, Blanscon book then you have uh, David McLean books so uh, ultimately you can go to higher books but for basics yes you have to in start with NCRT and there is uh, you know no escape for NCRT okay ma'am ma'am my fourth question and very most important question ki which topic in psychology are most important for the exam Okay, so uh, if I go with the topics of psychology, then you have this Spearman's factor theory, you have uh, Spearman's uh, triarchic theory, then you have uh, Gardner's multiple intelligence theory, 
then you have Maslow's hierarchy of need. Now, that is very, very important. Why? Because this Maslow's hierarchy of need is ultimately there in public administration as well. So uh, these becomes important. Then you have Piggott's theory. Now, Piggott's theory is something that is exploring your journey from birth to adulthood. Now, what is so different about Piggott's theory? Now, when I'm saying that the Piggott's theory is talking about a journey from birth to uh, your adulthood. So by birth, there's a child and we are taking a child as who? A little scientist, right? So a little scientist is exploring the life through psychology. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, what? news in psychology like what's new in psychology psychology that i should know for the exam okay well uh there is nothing as uh you know new to the subject but the only usp that is there in order to explore more marks and in order to gain more marks is firstly that you need to integrate the subjects you know integrate as in what you have paper one and paper two so for that, what you need to do is that you need to integrate your preparation in a manner where you are integrating paper one with paper two. Now, I'll explain you this through an example. For example, if there is a question in paper two that how you are ultimately going to motivate a student, then you have this topic of psycho cybernetics in paper one. And then you have goal setting theory again in paper one. So if the question is asked in paper two about motivation, then you are going to link the topics from paper one, that is your psycho cybernetics and goal setting theory of paper two. So again, what is happening is that you are not, you know, um, you're not caging yourself with certain aspects. In fact, you are trying to bring in your preparation with more integration approach. Second thing, what I would say is that you need to do a little bit of research. Again, you can bring examples from your day to day life. And uh, third thing, again, uh, you should not use any redundant information. Now, what do I mean by redundant information? That means whenever you are writing the optional paper, you should be um, very particular with the aspect that you are using what psychological terms. Okay, so for psychological terms, you need to have a very, very brief understanding about what psychology is. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, my last question is, ki any tips for writing essays in psychology? Okay, um, so past, uh, you know, in previous years, what I've seen is that uh, now UPSC is uh, more guiding towards philosophy and psychology. So, for example, there was this one topic that a little darkness is required to see stars. Now, if a person is, uh, you know, very uh, optimistic, so he or she would understand that, okay, so darkness, sorrows, they are ultimately going to guide you towards good. Right. And uh, in case if the person is pessimist, so they'll find it as what hurdle towards their life. So when you talk about essays, I would say that, again, uh, you should broaden the scope of imagination. Now, when you have topics, I would uh, say, see, uh, there was this one topic that in order to find yourself, you need to lose yourself. Then there was this topic of um, that a healthy mind needs what good books. So. All these topics require, you know, a good understanding about the subject, a good understanding about your human psyche, a good understanding in the environment in which you are living. Okay. Ma'am, if like, for example, if I'm um, a background in commerce, so if I'm going psychology optional, then there will be difficulty or will it be very easily? Uh, okay. So uh, if you you know, check the numbers, then psychology is one optional which is preferred among the candidates. It's, uh, you know, it is top five subjects which is preferred by the candidates. So a number of people are opting for this subject just because the reason is this, because it is easier to understand. Now, if you say what is so easy about this subject, if you know that UPSC is not sprint, it's a yes, marathon, definitely. right? So when it's a marathon, that means this psychology subject is ultimately going to provide you solace. Solace in what? That means you are able to understand your thinking, your thoughts, and uh, how to calm down yourself. Because uh, you will face a lot of hurdles in your preparation. At the same time, there will be a lot of um, you know uh, people who will put you down then how to handle them, how to handle yourself. And a person who can't handle himself or herself, how is that person going to handle the world out there? 
yes so ma'am. psychology becomes very important in that way and uh, i would uh, rather say that your gs paper 4 ethics is ultimately uh, you know a part of psychology is linked over there also okay ma'am thank you ma'am for joining us and giving us so many like new information thank you so much ma'am oh uh, the pleasure is all mine thank you so much yes Thank you so much everyone for joining us and if you have any doubt and new suggestion for the talk show you can comment below thank you so much